It's been two weeks since I've purchased the MT-10. It's been to multiple locations. We've bashed it left, right and centre. And I'm glad to say not a single thing has broken on this. It's been magnificent. We've continued to crack the body. That's got a nice split in it. And we'll do a little bit on that later. But the truck has performed magnificently. Now, my friend Elliot, he purchased a new truck recently. So we thought we'd do a comparison, seeing we've got very little to talk about with the MT-10. That's right, the HPI Maverick Quantum Flux. Um, so my friend bought this, fantastic price point, 199 pound. So what do you get for your money? It's 3S capable, it's every bit as fast as this. We'll cut some footage in later, but we have had some significant issues. Since the uh, short period of time that Elliot's had this, it's shredded two tires, a broke a shock mount, the steering servo um, has failed, um, he's broken an arm and also snapped a drive shaft. Do yourself a favor, do your research before you purchase your truck. We've added up the parts that this truck has needed and it's actually come to over what it's cost to purchase the rival MT-10. Then you've got all the downtime, you haven't been able to use the truck and uh, all that fun that you've missed out on. So I asked my friend Elliot, would you recommend the Maverick? And uh, we turned up to the location to do the shooting today and he turned up with that. That does, I can't fear that anywhere near as good. Bad after her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that. I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh god, she's such a tease. Bitten lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me. Cause she got a bad little waist. And we tearing down this place. Off the liquor that we chase. Got some needles to the face. Baby, I don't need no space. Coming closer for a taste. And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away. Cause she's like space. Is that the same shock as last time or? No, it was a front shock last time. <laughs> Let me get you, it's, is it pulled out or snapped? Snapped. I literally, we've just been bashing that for 10, 15 minutes and we thought we'd get a few shots with the Quantum. Um, couldn't control it all of a sudden and another shock tower's broke. Really don't like saying negative things about products, but if you can't use it, it's not really fit for purpose. <laughs> well, it kind of won then, didn't it? <laughs> This feels a little bit... <laughs> So there is one thing I wanted to mention, just seeing Elliot's car there, he tried to control it in the air and as he hit the brake, it just completely flipped. Um, the brake on this car out of the box is really, really strong. Um, there is something that I need to talk to Elliot about and worthwhile telling you guys. We'll put a link in the description, can't take credit for this. Somebody else, another creator, um, does a tutorial on this. But basically, the ECU in the truck isn't programmable. Uh, but what you can do is you can use the dual rates on the transmitter to um, dial it down and then teach the ECU where the end point is for both uh, throttle and brake. So what you end up with is a full throttle um, acceleration, but only a half brake. And I found that really important. The brake out of the box on this was very strong. It'd be great if there was a programmable ECU, but there isn't, but there is a hack and we'll give you the link for it. <laughs> That's what you get for driving cars at night. <laughs> 